Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had Asriel reach out and just say, hey, we'd like to see some of the specific settings that you have inside Signal Cleanup. I'll show them, but keeping in mind that audio engineers did develop this software, and so the default settings are probably pretty spot on. If I knew what I was changing, I'd change it maybe just a little bit to, to appease the settings that I had before on Streamlabs OBS. If I didn't change it, I probably didn't know what it was. So I'll go through these here really quickly and uh, just kind of talk about a little bit what each thing is. Noise reduction is like the, the tool that basically keeps out like fans and any sort of like ambient noise that's kind of behind you. So, uh, but here's my settings for noise reduction here. I'm gonna kind of go quick so that we're not having a 20 minute video here, but noise gate, essentially what it does is again, it's determining, hey, this is a sound that I want in the microphone and other sounds like maybe people talking in the background or uh, any sort of like dishes clanging in the background. It's gonna keep out those noises as well. So it's basically saying this is the, it's determining what is the main sound that it should be picking up. And then every other sound outside of that, it's trying to keep out as much as possible. That's what the software is doing, okay? Uh, attack is how quickly it happens, how quickly the software gets to work. Hold time is how long it will hold for, and then release will be like how quickly it will release after the, the determined hold time. So um, a compressor is essential, in my opinion, if you're a streamer or a broadcaster or any sort of thing. Uh, and the magic ratio right here is three to one, and that's what I've researched and people are saying all on the internet. But a compressor, what it does is it keeps your low sound, it'll bring your low sounds up and your high, it'll take your high sounds down into the acceptable range for your microphone. This is important so that you're not blowing out people's speakers or you're not able to be heard, period. I can whisper inside my microphone right now. Sorry about the ASMR. Hearing that, I am being extremely quiet, but the microphone is taking me up to a level in which you can hear. I can also scream very, very, very loud, and what you're probably hearing echo bounce off the walls. But again, it's taking that extremely loud noise from what my normal voice is, and it's bringing it back down to the, the regular sound. You're probably noticing that the volume of all three of those sounds, though they were all at different uh, decibels, were all right inside the same about range. So uh, you didn't have to, based on the level of my voice, change your volume settings at all. All right, continuing on here. So the, the de-esser, essentially what it is, it, it keeps the high hissing sounds, the high frequency sounds right out of your microphone or attempts to kind of mediate them so that you're not always hearing this like high hissing. You maybe have heard those microphones before that they always have some sort of like hissing sound or ringing sound in, the, in your ear and it's super annoying. This combats that right here. Also the deep popper, um, looking at the deep popper settings here, again, attack release, all, the, all those things are doing the exact same things as the other parts of the software were, but the popper keeps out that loud popping sound and it combats the, the low frequency P's that are coming out of your mouth. I tend to enunciate a ton, so you'll hear my P's pop so hard. And sometimes if I didn't have this, like people would just be like, stop, dude. Uh, I always got made fun of by my, my friends because of my, my P's popping, bruh. So um, last little one, the limiter is basically, it's like a gain booster almost is what I've found. This is just another like thing to add volume on your microphone. If your microphone is really quiet, you can turn this up higher. Uh, if your microphone is extremely loud, then you can turn this down. But I found that again, the default 10 uh, uh, and the limiter and then the attack time and the release time are, are all uh, right around where we're wanting it. So as real again, thank you for the comment. It does mean a lot and it allows me to really reflect on some of the things that I'm doing well or maybe leaving out. And in particularly, uh, this comment saying, hey, just so you know, I think it would be helpful if you went through these settings. I thought about that and was like, why did I not go through those? So uh, thank you again. It does really improve the, the quality of the stuff that I'm putting out and it, it does mean a lot to me. So uh, maybe throwing a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video. If not, maybe dislike the video and let me know why in the comments where I can improve or, or things that I can do better. So thank you again and I will see you guys soon.